Hi. Yes, I am in the bathroom, in the bathtub, not in the bathroom. Not going to the bathroom, I'm in the bathtub. I've been here for a couple days. Um, trying to find a comfortable position, and I just cannot get comfortable. You know, it looks so beautiful, nice outside, and my goal today, my goal today, is to take my wonderful daughter Sammy outside walk around I wanted to take you guys with me um, just kind of take the camera with me and see what we do it's nothing crazy um, but it's really beautiful here in Wyoming and the day is nice and I thought maybe I would take you around the ranch if I can get things situated here if I can get feeling better Oh my god, I just looked at me. <laughs> Holy balls. That just, I look like hell, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm just in, I'm exhausted, I'm in pain. And what I've been doing is, I've been watching Pee Wee Tom's videos, um, Sophia's videos. I've been watching couple other people um, you know there's not that many people that have cancer vlogs but there are out of the few people that do um, there are a few of them that are just phenomenal people and that's what you know how do I say what happened to me when I watch their videos is what I want to happen to you when you watch mine. I want so badly to make a difference in somebody's life, in a lot of people's lives actually. And if that means um, telling you how I feel every day, taking you through this journey, that's kind of the whole point. Um, you know, I know we're going through a lot right now. We're going through starting this radiation we've got financial issues up the wazoo with all of this new treatment it's very difficult oh which reminds me by the way um my sister-in-law um created a gofundme page for me and it made me just ball my eyes out so if it has the same effect on you then i'm not crazy so let me know it made you ball your eyes out but the whole thing is is that um this new treatment, this radiology, and this um, new chemotherapy is so far away from my home. So far away from my home. And um, it's expensive to get back and forth and to manage life in between. Uh, and, and we have spent so much on just my sickness anyway in the last year that here I go that we don't have much left at all we make it from week to week which you know is fine but when you make it from week to week and then there's more that's needed it's disheartening. I mean, it makes me angry. Because the alternative is, is if I don't, then it's in a month I'll be in hospice. And I don't want that. That's not going to happen to me. So we've got to make this work. So I'm asking for all of you guys' help. If financial donation or whatever you want to call it if that's not something you can do totally understand you know if somebody asked me right now it wouldn't be something that I could do either but what you can do is forward this to or forward that page to maybe potential people who can maybe businesses who um, you know maybe a, um, a small business wants some recognition. I'd be more than happy to give shout outs to businesses. Um, 
you know, in return for their support. I don't know if that's politically correct thing to say. All I know is that um, we need to keep just moving forward. I need to keep moving forward. This will happen. My thinking is, is that the radiology will shrink this tumor. There will be a successful surgery and that this time next year, um, I won't be sitting in a bathtub talking to you. What I'll be doing is um, I'll be out on a horse or I will be jumping around with my daughter or we're going to be getting ready to go trick-or-treating or this time next year, mark my words, I want to be here talking to you. I will be. I've thought about so many different slogans and phrases for t-shirts and, and I'm a t-shirt and a sock freak, okay? I love funky socks and I love just weird t-shirts. There was a t-shirt when I worked in the emergency room that I used to wear that was my, oh, that was my favorite. Um, and it had, it was a white t-shirt and it had a little spaceship on it with a green alien holding a specimen cup, <laughs> you know, with the um, long little fingers and um, holding this specimen cup and on the bottom it said we will be needing a specimen. I loved wearing that t-shirt in the ER and it affected a lot of people. And then they went and changed the blasted dress code to where we all had to wear the same color scrubs. We couldn't laugh anymore. I would secretly wear that t-shirt underneath my scrubs anyway and show people. Um, but anytime I would ask somebody to pee in a cup or spit in a cup or here, put your puke in the cup, whatever happens in the ER. Um, if they had any kind of issues with it, I would just show them that t-shirt and say, there you go. And not one time did I get anything but a smile or a laugh. And it's always great when there's someone in pain or is having an extraordinarily bad day or they're really sick and you can do something to make them stop for a second, take a breath and smile, or fall on the floor laughing as long as they don't hurt themselves, you know. I've had some nurses and doctors do that with me. Unfortunately, during this process in the last year, this cancer thing, um, I haven't had too many people with uh, senses of humor at me and I try really hard um, I just don't feel like I'm being successful maybe vlogging such a weird word to me maybe this isn't my thing should I keep making videos does it matter does it matter to people every day really how little old me is doing I mean I'm nobody but I am somebody with cancer, terminal cancer. You know what? I am. I am someone. I have terminal cancer. It sucks big time. I've been in pain. I will be continue to be in pain a lot. I'm pretty much in denial, or angry, or sad, or all of those at one time, if that's possible. I don't know. Suck it up, buttercup. That's what I should put on a t-shirt. What do you think? That's what we should put on a t-shirt. Suck it up, Buttercup. We're cancer warriors. Should I get t-shirts made up? Should I do that? I don't even know the first thing about doing that. And then find some type of somebody to donate it to, to donate the money to. Or donate it to me until I get through this radiation and then donate the rest to someone. That sounds so selfish and my oh my god, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have even said that. Suck it up, buttercup.
<laughs> I like